Okay guys, hey, uh, I know that I promised several of you that I would have a homeschool expo video up on Saturday of last week. It didn't happen. <laughs> um, we are in like super rush mode trying to get things done before we start school next week and I just I, I was tired and I was overwhelmed and when I sat down and went through my pile of stuff there was just a massive amount of stuff there and I was not mentally prepared to do a video for you guys um, but today I am so my overview of the expo as a whole this year they really put it out there that this was the biggest year ever and it was so amazing they did have some new stuff um, they did have more vendors but not a ton more. Um, most of it is the same familiar stuff that you see year after year after year. Sunlight, Abeka. Um, there's always a, a handful of them that are the, the same all the time, no matter which one you go to. But what I want to talk about in um, the next couple of videos are specific things that stood out to me that I thought were really, really great. Um, this video is just going to be a quick overview, and then the next two videos are going to split into uh, curriculums and events that I thought were really neat, um, that if, you know, you should check them out. Uh, and then I plan on doing a whole video based on books because this year they had several authors there. Um, and if you have followed this channel for any amount of time, you know I'm a bookie. I am a book nerd. Um, I don't know if you can see my shirt or not. It says, I am a book dragon, not a worm. Um, you can see one of my bookcases over there along with my clean laundry. I apologize for that. <laughs> um, so the authors and the books that were at the expo really kind of stood out to me and I'm going to talk about them uh, in a different video. But for now, to the pile. All right guys, so this is basically the pile, <clears throat> excuse me, of stuff that I brought home with me from the expo. Um, I have a pencil from the Bodies um, exhibit in Atlanta. This thing, um, not the pencil, the exhibit, is really, really neat. Um, I am not sure if we're going to go because of Brother Bear. He's kind of sensitive to things, so I'm not sure realistic human bodies is going to make it on our list this year. Um, whole bunch of pens. My husband has this thing about collecting pens, picking them up wherever we go. So I have a whole handful of them. He also picked up this lanyard, which was from... The Universal Technical Institute. Um, I have no idea if he will actually use this lanyard at all ever, but he grabbed it anyhow. <laughs> um, let me move some of these out of the way. I got a bag from Abeka, and they had it filled with all kinds of goodies for me. Um, I've got a bag from Andretti Indoor Karting and Games. It's an indoor go-kart. Um, they have other things like, I think they had laser tag. Um, really kind of neat place, especially if you've got racers or, you know, active kids. Um, I've got another bag down here. This one is from BJU. My husband stood there and talked to them for a while. Um, I think 
that was all of the bags. Nope, there's another bag. Oh, this was the bag that they give you when you walk in the door. And it had... There we go. So, homeschool football. AOP coupon. Study lock. Learning system, Atlanta Learning Academy. And if you guys need the information on any of these flyers, just hit that pause button. Um, I think there's one more flyer under here. Kirkwood Education Online. And then they give you this little uh, packet. Quick Sticks. Has the little squishy pen grip. And it has a paint stick. And then info on ordering. Um, so everybody who walked through the door, um, before they ran out of baggies, you got a bag. I know both my husband and I got one because I have another one of these sitting here. Um, oh, excuse me guys, my pile has somewhat spread. Uh, I'm only made two purchases. I bought Brother Bear a Lego Triceratops kit, which he put together like that afternoon. Um, and then I bought these books. They are Christian fiction, um, fantasy. The author was super, super awesome. Um, you can see. He autographed them for me. I'm not going to open you up and show you the autograph because I had him make them out to my daughter. Uh, that way, after both her and I read them, she gets to keep them. Um, so you can hit that pause button, get a quick uh, idea of what the books are about. You can see that they are Georgia based, which was awesome, Christian, which is awesome. Fantasy, which is definitely a hit in my house. Um, so I look forward to reading those. Those were my only purchases, though. Um, again, a lot of this info here. Oh, let me go ahead and tell you about these. These were Civil War posters um, that they were just handing out for free. Uh, this one is... A map of Atlanta shows you the city of Atlanta Civil War info and then this other one is the state of Georgia and it's got different um, marching routes battle locations um, info on there I thought that was really neat that they were just handing those out for free. Um, and then there's the rest of this pile. I'm going to take a minute to sort through my pile real quick so it's a little more organized when I tell y'all what's in there. Alright? Alright guys, so this is the pile. Um, I've kind of spread it out now. And I'll go over uh, a couple of things real quick. And then I'll come back and talk about the stuff that I thought was, um, maybe you wanted to know a little bit more about it. I, stuff that I thought was really neat. So, really quickly, 
Um, this here, Fictivities, it is a really cool board game, um, activity mat type of thing that gets your kids, gives you a break in between activities and gets your kids up and moving. Um, in addition to the mat, they have cards. So, uh, you could spell out your student's name or spell out, uh, vocab words and they'd have to do whatever activity was on that card. That was a pretty neat idea. I have a friend that I know, she bought the, the kit from them last year. Um, here we've got Spanish. I realized I was covering up the information. So if you're interested interested in Spanish, check them out. Um, the HSLDA always has a ton of info. Um, I picked up a couple of different flyers that I didn't have already that I can share with our group. Um, and then an information sheet on basic homeschool info in the state. Pandia Press. These are science. Um, Legoland. We've been to Legoland a couple of times now. Middle Kid really loves it. This is that bodies exhibit I mentioned earlier. It's actual human bodies that you get to see inside of them and see how they work it's really neat um but again like i said i'm not sure about my poor sensitive student um i apologize for the dirtiness of my floor i just realized i did not vacuum before i videoed for y'all this is the southern railroad museum and the classes that they have. Um, this place is supposed to be really, really neat. I'm hoping to hit them sometime this year. Um, let me see. Total Language Plus. Um, these guys do reading guides um, that are great for homeschoolers. Oh. Um, microscopes, Southern Science Supply, the um, the Museum of History and Holocaust Education at Kennesaw University. Um, they do a program every month for homeschoolers. Really awesome program, but it fills up quick. So make sure you go to their site, um, ahead of time and register. Let's see. Medieval Times. They do a homeschool day and I grabbed coloring books for the boys. Uh, Biltmore has some stuff and they gave away these amazing full color books about the estate. Um, I thought that was really cool. I mean, that's a really, really great book. Um, Character Formation Project, uh, Christian Values, um, let me close up on that. You guys can go to that website if you want more info on them. Um, that great big pile there is all of the Ebeka stuff. Um, there's some coloring books. There's a disc with samples, um, crayons. All kinds of stuff. Um, I will talk about them in another video. 
I will talk about Tandem EDU in another video. Let's see, we've got Bob Jones. We've got Gallo. These guys have some amazing books too. If you haven't heard of them, make sure you go check them out. Uh, American Heritage Girls. This is a lot like Girl Scouts, but there's a big, big focus on Christianity, Christian values, Christian service. I thought that was really neat. Um, this is the Andretti go-kart racing thing. Um, I won this. I think my husband will enjoy it. <laughs> my boys will enjoy it. Um, here we have German. And you can do it on site or you can do it online. We've got Schiller Math. Um, I'll talk about those in the other video. Callaway Gardens does a lot of cool stuff. I love their Birds of Prey program. We've got Life Design Careers. Uh, Rahab's Rope had some beautiful, beautiful items. And if you guys go to that site and read the story behind the products, it's really, really great. Um, tech, if you guys are looking for tech classes, and then, uh, Biblical History Center, which will be in my next video. So that's kind of a quick overview. Um, I've got a couple other ones sitting over here that I'll talk about in the next video. That's an overview of what I picked up, the kind of stuff that you guys will see. Um, lots and lots and lots of places I didn't grab flyers for. Um, it is definitely worth the visit, um, if you guys are close by and you, um, can go check them out. I definitely, definitely recommend the Southeast Homeschool Expo every year.